up, it's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. Of course, we're back here at Walker Ford in Clearwater, Florida, and we have the very first in the area. This is the 2020 Mustang GT, but this one has the all new color for 2020, the Grabber Lime. This one also has a few extra options on it that really just ties a nice cohesive package together. But before we get into this Mustang, let's talk about the Mustang. Mustang has been around since 1964 and a half, first unveiled at the World's Fair in New York, and since then has really revolutionized the car industry, car culture, and just overall people's lives. Think about it. Everybody has a Mustang story. Even if you never own a Mustang at all, personally yourself, we all have a story involving a Mustang, whether it goes back to high school or when you met your wife or husband or whoever. Wonderful things come from behind the wheel of a Ford Mustang. Now what's wonderful on top of that is that with this grabber lime color, we're bringing in that fun attitude and I really think that no other car can pull this off like a Mustang GT. When it comes to options, you could go many different ways. I think this one, I, what I really like about it is that's a, a good all-arounder. You're going to see performance-wise, it's got some nice modifications, some nice options, but also from a look standpoint as well and drivability. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 all-new color, that Grabber Lime Green. Right off the bat, we drop down, you can see they continued with the styling of that refresh, mild refresh in 2018. I like the way they changed up the headlight design. Remember, on the GT350 and the GT500, you don't get this headlight design. It's a little bit different, but I like the, the way it's all blacked out. You got your tri-bar daytime running lamps that are LED, gives it that classic look. A Little bit of a functional air curtain going on down here. You got some lighting, and then as we come across the front with the Mustang GTs, the grill is a gloss black. Now, this one has the optional black accent package. It's only $995, but it includes a lot of goodies for it. First off, your pony is gloss black to match perfectly. Now, if you notice, if you ever wondered, why is it flat black down here and gloss black? The reason why they did that is because this is going to take a better beating as rocks and dirt and debris hit this while you're driving down the road than the nice gloss black. But the gloss black really pops with the grabber lime. You can see the flat black Lower lip spoiler, this is your standard Mustang GT affair. If you go Performance Pack 1 or Performance Pack 2, that lower lip spoiler is definitely going to be extended, especially on the Performance Pack 2. Now, as we go up onto the hood, buckets upon buckets of grabber lime just spilled all over this thing. You got your gloss black functional heat extractors that's going to help drag heat from out from underneath the hood. And as we come around the bend here, another part of the black accent package are these 19 inch wheels, 19 inch in diameter, eight and a half inch width. So what that means is you have a 255 series tire with a 40 series sidewall. Very nice balance. I like the overall look. I think it goes great. You have a flat grayish silver uh, four piston caliper, really looks clean. We continue down the side, those classic Mustang lines with the black accent wheels, blacked out pony and blacked out 5.0 badge. Of course, underneath the hood, 460 horsepower out of that five liter V8 engine. Everything else is gonna be a continuation into 2020. With the black accent package though, more. You get some black on the roof. Now, I think if you're gonna go grab or lime, you definitely gotta get the black accent package because this roof alone, it balances it out. I think if it didn't have a black roof, there would be too much grabber lime and you're gonna be grabbing too much attention. I think with the black, it really breaks it up nicely. Always thought it was a very nice touch to have that flat black lower sill extension, obviously aerodynamic piece, but it also looks good as well. We continue towards the back, nice flared out fenders, that fastback design of the Mustang. And then two final pieces of the black accent. We're not done with that yet, believe it or not. This one has, with that package, the nice gloss black trunk lid spoiler, and your GT badge, which is normally chrome finish, is blacked out as well. We continue down, beautiful rear diffuser. This one has your active exhaust. So all Mustang GTs come with quad tips. This has the active exhaust where you can make it louder or quieter depending on what you're trying to do. And this one also has different gearing. It's got 355 gears, 
to give you some better acceleration. But why don't we go ahead, check out underneath the hood and see what's powering this Mustang GT. All right, guys, we got the hood open. They still have for 2020 the prop rod and they also have, I'm zonking that engine cover, but underneath the engine cover is plenty of goodness. You're looking at that five liter V8. It's naturally aspirated. So at the end of the day, you're looking at 460 horsepower, 420 pound feet of torque. This one is mated to that slick shifting 10 speed automatic. You can also get it in a six speed as well. MPGs, 15 in the city, 25 on the highway, zero to 60 in about 4.1 seconds. My biggest thing though, being a car guy, I know if you had a Mustang or if you do own a Mustang, you pop the hood, you like to look into that engine compartment, they need to get rid of this plastic cover. This would probably save about $100 off the price of every Mustang and show off that intake plenum. But why don't we go ahead, get to the best part of any Mustang, let's fire it up and hear its growl. guys we're inside the mustang gt with that black accent package with the grabber lime color i know you're probably saying well joe how much is the price of this particular car you're looking at an msrp right at forty seven thousand dollars let's see what you get now to the door panels this has the upgraded interior so you're going to get that beautiful white contrast stitching the leather on the back portion of the door and the armrest and i also like the silver accents just a very classy looking door very retro design compared to the old mustangs now you have the dual cal dash there is a badge here and i'm a little confused mustang 55 years i understand the mustang's been around for 55 years i think 50 would have been just more appropriate but i guess you know ford's obviously very proud so 55 years but i am going to zonk that badge because i think it's just a little overboard i just wish it said mustang I do like the trim in the, the uh, GT package. You have that nice infotainment system, all my sync. You can see you can get into your AC controls very nicely. You do have, as it goes back, the navigation. Once it loads, it's actually pretty quick reacting. The graphics are a little dated, but that's something that I'm sure is gonna get updated as we progress here. Here's our AC controls. Everything's the same for 2020. Ventilated seats, heated seats. You got your aluminum engine start stop button. Those really cool toggle switches to go into different drive modes. I just shut the car off. Watch, I'll turn it back on. Little tiny cubby here for probably the world's smallest cell phone because there's no way you're gonna fit an iPhone 10 or a Galaxy uh, whatever we're on in this little slot. You have a USB. This is for the 10 speed. I like the look with the brushed aluminum little harder material but you know what you got the stitch work that's a nice touch your two cup holders here's your ford mustang uh, key fob i'm glad that they gave you one that actually had the pony on it rather than the ford logo soft armrest this thing is very very soft with the stitching open it up you have a usb a 12 volt in there good old-fashioned e-brake and then of course the full upgraded leather interior i like the design i love the stitch work and you know what, even though they're not Recaro's, they actually do a pretty good job holding you in. And me being six foot tall, Joe Rady, tons of headroom. You could do your track day, put your helmet on, you still got plenty of room. Coming over to the business end, I'll show you behind the wheel of this 2020 Mustang GT. All right guys, behind the wheel of the Mustang GT and that grabber lime color. Now, I am gonna zonk the electric seats. Now you have electric assist on the bottom, but you have a manual on the back for a $47,000 car I would like electric assist on the back portion. Steering wheel though, that classic look. I love the thickness of it. These buttons are easy to get to. They're not too obnoxious. You see this little button right here with the Mustang on it? That's gonna get you into operating that exhaust. So once you go into the menu, you could go down to exhaust mode. You see how we're in normal? Let's open her up. Let's put her in track mode. Of course, it wants to warn you. And now the exhaust is open. It's actually that easy. What you're looking at though is that beautiful 12 inch digital display. Watch as I go through the different modes. So right now we're in normal. I go Sport Plus. Look at that, it changes. 
sport uh, you go sport plus to track changes again let me get out that menu there they love to give you tons of little warning things you're taking her to the drag strip remember this does have line lock and whatnot and what's also nice too is you're going to get uh, the protection in uh, snow and wet conditions as well this is a real wheel drive car you don't want to be slipping and sliding too much but overall very comfortable in here i know you want to know i know you're going to ask if i don't do it let's get into the back seat and see how much room you have back there all right guys back seat time now the thing that's interesting to get into the back seat of the mustang is you have to use the power assist to slide it all the way forward there's no like quick release where it just you pull the lever and it goes but i'm going to go ahead and climb in just to prove a point because i know that you want this ow all right so you slide into this nice little kind of hole in the seat which supports you very nicely it actually is nice and soft but you can see i'm really struggling for headroom i would need to ride around like this um, to really get anywhere but that just goes to show you six foot person you're not going to love sitting back here but what you are going to love i promise is that trunk let's go check it out all right guys time to check out the trunk space this is where the mustang beats the camaro every single time you can see nice larger opening than the camaro and a lot more room deep inside those seats are going to do the 60 40 split which makes this a perfect car to take to any track whether it's a drag strip a road course an autocross track because you could put all your gear in here make it there go have a blast pack it all up and get back home but let's get to the best part of this mustang gt let's take it for a spin all right guys we're in the 2020 mustang gt grabber lime everything else in the mustang gt is exactly the same as last year so what does that mean you're getting that five liter v8 you're getting that 10 speed automatic transmission and with this one, that LED setup, 12 inch display, lots of fun. Let's go ahead from a slow roll, get on throttle, drops down and here we go. Very quick shifts, very, very quick shifts. And that's the thing I love about the 10 speed is that the shifts are lightning fast. You get out of throttle, it holds the revs just enough so that if you're right again, get back on it and you go. Sound from that active exhaust is worth every dime. It's something like $895. That should be just an automatic. I don't know if you noticed the transmission downshifting. Really great sound. Would I like a six-speed in this right now? Of course. I know you would like a six-speed, but this is the way that this one is optioned. And I think for somebody who's looking for an all-arounder, this is the best way to go because if you're gonna go stick, I would say just go ahead and go with the performance pack level one. I think that's a great daily driver. Performance pack level two is a little aggressive with that sticky track day rubber, whereas with the Michelin uh, 4S tires, you're gonna get better drivability and durability for everyday use. Just like any of the other Mustang reviews here on Radies Rides, same setup. Seating position is great, very comfortable inside, lots of headroom, and just the sound of that coyote engine it's crazy the sound and the dash the colors super smooth really think that they hit the nail on the head and i almost feel like all the mustangs should have this 12 inch display just you hear that the car doing the downshifts does it so perfect so perfect all right guys i think one of the best parts like i was talking about the Mustang GT being a great all-arounder, sitting in traffic, all the temps are looking great. You know, there was once a time when you were in a muscle car and sitting at a light was not a good thing, but this thing purrs like a kitty cat, easy to drive, very comfortable, and has such a distinct look. This grabber lime color just, it's based off the name, it grabs your attention. And definitely when it comes to hearing, you're gonna have that eargasm from that exhaust this thing is a rocket it really is it's amazing how fast you pick up speed in a mustang gt it's very unassuming you're like oh it's a mustang gt okay it's quick but, but with that 10 speed it's firing off those shifts constantly going down the highway here very smooth i think probably the one thing that's going to hurt it as a as the best all-rounder of course is going to be mpgs but at the end of the day you can't have your cake and eat it too 460 horsepower you're gonna get 15 in the city um, but you're getting that awesome muscle car feel mustang heritage you get to be part of the story and that's the great thing about uh any mustang gt especially this one with that iconic grabber lime color i hope
hope they bring back Grabber Blue. I really miss that color. Grabber Blue is such a wonderful color. But we're going to see how she handles. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it into sport mode by pulling the shifter all the way back on throttle. On the brakes. No Brembo's or anything, but still great pedal feel into this bend. Nice and smooth. And that's the thing I like about it is that you're still going to get a balanced package even in your standard Mustang GT. You're not going to be really... There was once a day, I remember Fox Bodies, you had drum brakes out back and very inefficient way of slowing down. And a lot of times people don't care. They don't really focus on slowing down. They're all about more horsepower going faster, but eventually you're going to have to stop. And it's good to have, even on the standard Mustang GT, a great brake setup. All right, guys, I'm going to use the paddles behind the steering wheel. They're two plastic paddles. They're a little on the smaller side, but I'll let you have that manual control, hold the gear really, really smooth. I mean, the power in this thing is crazy. I just wish the paddles were a little bit larger and kind of stuck out a little bit further away from the back of the steering wheel. They're kind of like right on the back of the wheel. But very, very smooth shifts. Large gear indicator to let you know what gear that you're in. I do have it in Sport Plus mode, which like we showed you earlier, changes up the setup of the dash and everything. But on throttle, on the brakes, downshift, really nice. Turn in. Dragging it out, hit third, and we're off, look at this, really wonderful. I mean, and what's great is, is that all of the systems in the car are going to make sure that you're getting the traction to the ground because that's one thing about a rear wheel drive car, all that power going to the rear wheels. With the electronic aids on, it actually really smooths out that power delivery and allows you to get every horsepower to the ground because you, that's how you know you're going forward. If you're just spinning tires, you're not going forward. But very smooth, very controllable. And then, of course, at the end of the day, I have ventilated seats on. So, uh, you know, just overall, the usability of this Mustang GT is really spot on and perfect. Right, guys, one more time, I'm gonna leave it in automatic mode, on throttle, on the brakes, really good pedal feel, tip it in, Really nice, look, holds the line very nicely. Drift out a little bit. Really, really nice the way it helps build that power in such a smooth way and then you're fired like a rocket right off the deck of a battleship. That's what it feels like in this Mustang GT. But we're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up, get back to Walker Ford and I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, another magical day here at Walker Ford. Any day is a good day when you're around any kind of Mustang GT, especially this Grabber Lime color. Definitely put in the comments how you feel about this color, all new for 2020. Definitely also got to thank Frank Walker, Western Walker, Tracy, Benji, Mark, Austin, Greg, everybody here, so accommodating, such big Radies Rise fans. If you want to keep seeing things like this on the channel, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it out to Big Guns, Muscle Car McGee, Tom Moshner. He loves muscle cars. That's where his heart is, and that's where it's going to be. So thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.